Hey y'all, um, I'm back and today I am going to show you the new and improved summer blow foundation routine that I came up with. Um, I'm not going to really do an expensive eye look. Probably not going to do an eye look at all to be honest. Um, but I'm literally going to take you step by step. I am bare face. I haven't even moisturized my face yet. I'm literally just coming from washing it and I'm going to take you step by step to my finished product. Um, I may skip over a couple steps, but nothing that has to do with my face. So, let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start out with this facial spray. It has aloe um, and rose water. I'm gonna spray it all into my face and pat it in to add some moisture to my face. Then I'm gonna go in with a combination of two primers and the Benefit Sunbeam. Um, I am not tan right now, so this adds a little tan, and it also helps to control the oils in my face. So I'm gonna use a foundation brush and just get that all over, especially in my T-zone, to try to reduce as much oil buildup as possible, making sure I get my eyelids and everything in between. So after I'm done applying my primers, I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation and my foundation brush. I'm going to apply this everywhere. I will be honest with you all, I wish I used a darker shade because um, this is my winter, winter foundation and I'm a little darker than um, this one here. I might actually have to get rid of it altogether, but at the end of the day, the look came out um, pretty well so I don't recommend using a lighter foundation but I will admit to my flaws and that is one of those in this video um, so I'm, now I'm gonna go in with my MAC mineralized pressed powder foundation um, and a big foundation brush this is just to set my found liquid foundation um, and just to give me an even tone and to be honest it is also to make my face a little darker uh, because like I said I used a lighter foundation than I really wanted to. Now I'm going to transition into some concealer Kat Von D again the Locket Concealer. Um, this concealer is a concealer I use all the time. It is uh, light but is just the way I like it. Um, I'm going to go in with a beauty blender and I'm going to start to blend out the outside of each section first. As you see, um, I'll try to blend out each section individually and then I'll go more into the inner parts of each section. Once you feel like you've blended enough, I'm going to go in with my Buttercup Setting Powder and this is going to just set everywhere that I put that concealer. Um, I am very oily so I do put a lot of powder on to try to avoid getting oily throughout the day. Um, I wore this look for about eight hours um, and I pretty much only got a little oily towards the end of the day on my nose so this technique does really work for me and yes I do put some powder on my eyebrows because that gets oily too so that was not a mistake at all so I try to do one over each section and then I go over it again one time now I'm gonna use that same powder brush and the MAC Mineralize and just sweep away all of it. I don't bake, but I do try to use a lot of powder to avoid um, oils. I don't bake because I feel like it makes me look cakey um, and I don't like that look. I don't find baking necessary, but to each his own. So that is all up to you.
Now I'm gonna go in with this BH Cosmetic Palette. If you do not have it, you need to get it. Oh my goodness, it is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go in with these two colors here. The lighter one first, um, this is to warm up my face. It's more to bronze my face. It's not a deep shade. This is not contouring what I'm doing right now. This is just to warm up my face and give it a little, little, little bit of warmth. Then I'm gonna go in with the darker color and I'm going to actually contour it the same way I'm warming my face. But I'm gonna just try to be a little more precise when I do it. So I'm warming my face in the area of my contour and then I'm going to go in with the darker shade and be more precise. So I'm going to get right under my jawbone when I use the darker shade and as close to my hairline as possible when I use the darker shade. It gives you more of an ombre effect um, and it's not very distinct between your highlight and your contour. Especially those who are having issues with blending and stuff like that, this is a great technique to use. Um, and so you will get more of a faded look and not that clear cut line between your highlight and contour. All right, onto my nose. I am going to start out with the lighter color like I used before. Um, on the outside of my nose um, this part I don't have to be as precise but I'm going to use the same brush with both colors this you'll start to see um, the contour the look of my nose it starts to get a little smaller um, and then I'm gonna go in with the darker color and you're gonna start to really see the dis the distinct difference between the lighter color and the darker color you try to keep the darker color only to the edge of your nose so right where the dark and the light meet that way you get a real slimmer nose um, and you keep the uh, lighter color um, more towards your um, highlight underneath your eye I hope that makes sense now I'm going in just to brush it up it blurs out the line just a little bit gonna add a little more highlight underneath my nose to kind of slim my nose out a little bit more and then I'm gonna brush that away and voila there's my nose contour now this next product if you don't have it you need to find it because this is the highlight of the gods yes the wet n wild highlighter powder OMG it is bomb.com like I said if you don't got it, you need to go and find it. <laughs> yes, I was so amazed. This is actually my second time or third time using it. And are you ready? Are you ready? Because this is, this is, this is, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, MJ. Oh, MJ. I can't. I can't. All right. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> so next, I'm going to use the Airspun um, Translucent Powder. I'm just using this to cut my um, contour underneath just to kind of make it a little more sharp. I don't want it too, too sharp, but I'm just going to put a little bit on and I'm going to brush it right away. Like I said, don't like to bake, so we're going to brush it right away. There it is. That contour is looking real sharp, girl. Next, this is another must-have from BH Cosmetics. It's their Glamorous Blush Palette. You have such a wide range of blushes here. I'm gonna use a combination of two. Um, because it is summer, I can go more of a pink look, but just be careful with these. These are very, very pigmented. I actually use them sometimes as eyeshadows. That's how pigmented they are. Um, but they are bomb.com, and if you are an aspiring makeup artist, this is something that you definitely want in your palette, in your kit, because it will get you very far. Now for my eyebrows, I'm gonna use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This one is really nice for that natural look. If you know me, you know that my eyebrows are very thin and I usually try to draw them on to the dots. But today, we're gonna keep it as natural as possible because I'm not doing a lot eye look at all. So, we're gonna use this in the dark brown, I believe it is. Um, the black is too black for me and the one underneath it is um, too light. So this one is just perfect. Um, it looks very natural and very simple. Brushing the product through and keeping it plain and simple. Now I'm going to go in with a tapered brush and the same foundation I used earlier. I'm not going to use concealer because I definitely want to keep it natural. We're just going to clean up underneath the eyebrows and blend down. You want to blend down as much as possible so that you 
don't get a distinct concealer look or halo eyebrow underneath your eyebrow. I'm only going to touch up underneath my eyebrow. Like I said, we want to keep it natural. So the bushy look on the top makes it more natural than not. Now I'm going to go on with that same highlighter and just highlight underneath my brow bone. I don't have much of a brow bone. Yeah, I have really weird eyes. <laughs> but this kind of gives the illusion that I have a little bit of something. So I'm going to use a little bit of that underneath my brow bone and in the inner corner of my eye. So no eye look, but I am going to give my eye just a little bit of a pop for that summertime glow. Okay, ladies? Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of mascara, making sure I get those bottom lashes the most because I am going to put some falsies on. Now it's time for my lip. I'm going to use a MAC um, lip liner. I believe it's in Spice. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm going to look it up later and ensure to put it in the description box. So I'm just lining my lips. I do overline my top lip just a little bit because my bottom lip is significantly bigger than my top lip. I'm going to go in with the lipstick teddy to now give myself a little pop of color. And on top, I'm going to put a L lip gloss on. Sorry, I am like tripping over my words. But like I said, I'm human, guys, and I try not to cover up that fact. So I'm going to just leave it in this video. Anyways, moving on. Um, I'm pretty much done with this look. You see I am glowing. I am matte at the same time. And like I said, I wore this look for eight hours and I barely got oily. So I hope you enjoyed. I really, really love this look. Um, and woof, girl. Yes, 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 yes. Um, guys, please don't forget to like this video and please subscribe to my page i have so much great things coming your way this summer and like i said i hope you enjoy it make sure you comment below and i will answer any questions that you have so so long for now and i hope to see you guys really soon bye